So you've got yourself a fistful of holiday cash. You can't find a next gen console unless you're willing to pay horrible scalpers, and there's an equal chance that you're going to struggle to find a video card. Simply put, chip shortages are kicking our ass this year. But there is one thing that you should have on your list, and it's often the most neglected thing at your desk, the chair. Now I've reviewed quite a few chairs over the last few years, from exercise chairs to the cheapest chairs and even some of the very best. Today we're going to take a look at the DX Racer's new Master Series, a customizable and modular chair that promises a comfortable seat but also offers up a number of cool accessories that might make it a bit different than any other chairs that we've seen. I'm Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. Let's unbox this beast that you can't see off camera, take a closer look at the parts, and see if the DX Racer can live up to all of that hype. Here we go, all unpacked. So we went with the black chairs, it goes with everything, but there's also maroon and brown. The maroon's pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. But, like I said, black goes with everything. The headrest is on a rail, allowing you to adjust it up or down. Earlier, you could see behind me on the chairs that I've already assembled, that they have a pillow system with straps. Frankly, those don't stay in position for very long unless you really ratchet them down, so something more permanent is an improvement. And because it's removable, I mean, I suppose you could have it customized, maybe with your gamer tag up top. The upholstery is made of a microfiber leather that seems to be of a higher quality than most of the other chairs we have. What's interesting here, though, is the mesh cushion. A lot of chairs go to a solid piece of PU leather, or they just punch tiny holes in that same leather for the chair to breathe. Here we have a mesh cushion that's replaceable. I've not seen that in any other chair, even chairs that cost over $1,000, so that's a huge improvement. Now this particular configuration is capable of supporting up to 275 pounds, and it's suitable for anyone even as tall as 6 foot 2. Now simply don't buy the biggest chair you can find, that'd be a mistake. Instead, buy a chair that fits your body shape and size. You'll appreciate the chair that fits you, and you won't create problems with your legs as they can't reach the floor comfortably when you're sitting in the chair. This knob here is for lumbar support. Now by turning this knob, it pushes a small lever forward just like that, and it should push on the small of your back and into the upper back, which should remind you not to slouch and help with a little bit of support. We've seen a similar design underneath other chairs, but only on the absolute highest end chairs. Thankfully, they went with four bolts for these instead of two. Some chairs that we've checked out recently have only used two, and within just a few weeks, those arms are all over the place. This base is made of aluminum, which is fairly common amongst chairs in this class. This piston is a class 4 hydraulic gas lift, which is actually a common gas lift. So the good news is that they didn't go proprietary, meaning that you can simply replace this for $20 if you need to. Or if you need something stronger, you can go on Amazon, spend $20, $40, and get an even taller one. If you do uh, any of that, you are messing with the center of gravity. So if you go fiddling, that's on you. Please send me any videos of you falling on your ass. It would amuse me greatly. There is a little bit of a difference with the design of these 4D armrests. Now they're called 4D as they can move in four directions. They can go up, down, left, and right. Sorry, they don't transcend time and space. Anyway, so these buttons on the side here don't stick out like they do on every other chair that we've reviewed. They are recessed, ensuring that you don't rub against them or in some way catch them when you stand up. So let's take a moment and talk about accessories. Since the device is modular, you can add a footrest, and you can even replace the cushion like I mentioned. You can also add a cup holder, which is what we have right here, it goes right underneath. And you can even replace the headset with a memory foam one that has built-in Bluetooth. Then there's the great granddaddy of all of them, you can add a multifunctional bracket that not only will hold your phone and your laptop, but will let you swivel in and out so you can work at your chair without needing to work at a desk. Now that's a big game changer for this particular chair, and it is completely unique among any chair we've ever seen. Since those accessories are so important, I'm going to work on getting some of those, or all of those, to show you, but suffice it to say that that's a huge selling point for the DX Racer Master. That said, there is one issue with it. 
there's no mousing surface. So you're gonna have to use that nub on your IBM ThinkPad, or it's time to get a touch screen or a laptop with a good touchpad on it. I do have to point out, as I have with pretty much every chair that I reviewed, that these caster wheels, while heavily reinforced, probably will hold a heavier dude, are terrible on carpet. So unless you're rolling around on hardwood floors, which let's be honest, every promo picture on every website is showing exactly that, pieces of carpet are gonna get stuck up inside here. Instead, I recommend spending an extra 20 or 30 bones and picking up a pair of these solid rubber wheels. They roll perfectly regardless of the surface and they don't pick up any pieces of your carpet. It's a minor nitpick, but one that you're probably gonna to wanna to pay attention to. While we work on assembly, I want to point out something that will allow you to assemble this chair by yourself. This steel bracket here has a stop at the top, so when you slide it over this lever arm, it'll stay in place allowing you to throw the bolts in. So while I do that, let's talk a little bit about tilt. There we go. So the tilt on this chair rotates from 90 to 155 degrees. The suggestion is that the chair sitting at 90 degrees is for gaming, and that 100 degrees is for checking out a movie, 120 is for resting, and then all the way back is for reclining. Now it doesn't lie completely back like some of the other chairs that we've seen, which go all the way out to 180 degrees, but laying all the way out like that scares the crap out of me. I'm totally fine with 155 degrees and allows the DX Racer center point to stay more under you. With the chair assembled, we can throw this last bit of vanity cover over the top and they're magnetized. Well, after a couple of weeks of use, there you have it. DX Racers not only delivered a chair that is completely different than any other reference design, but one that's comfortable, modular, and customizable. From the cup holder to the modular arm system, this thing is aces across the board. If you're in the market for a more comfortable gaming experience or you find yourself mixing work and game time, there's not a better chair in this class than the DX Master. I highly recommend it. I'm Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com saying stay safe out there and we'll see you again very soon.